I'm going to show you how to make unlimited HDRIs inside of Blender. The process takes literally seconds to implement and the results are pretty amazing. Today we are covering the add-on physical starlight and atmosphere. This is honestly one of the greatest add-ons that I've used for world lighting and sky generation. Let's jump into Blender so you can see what I'm talking about. I've got a simple scene here with no lights and no world lighting. Now in the end panel, I have the atmosphere add-on already installed and ready to go. If you haven't got this installed yet, I've got a link below to the Blender market where you can download this add-on. Once you have it, you just need to come up to the edit menu, preferences, and install the add-on. So now all we need to do is click this new button to activate the world lighting in this scene, and then click this checkbox. Straight away, this lighting is amazing, but we have all of these parameters on the side to hone in the look and feel of the sky. So let's quickly run through the settings. This first panel lets us change the sun settings, like the rotation, size, and color temperature. You also get this cool stylistic secondary sun here, shown as the binary sun. This is essentially just another small sun for those more surreal renders. It follows the initial sun's position and all the settings are individual to the main sun lamp for even more customization. Following that is the atmosphere. Most of the settings in here are self-explanatory and allow you to create some awesome atmospheric effects for your scene. You can create a super moody shot by increasing the density. You can also change the height of the atmosphere as well. The coolest setting in here, I think, is the color. There are these custom colors for each layer of your atmosphere, and this makes for some pretty incredible results. I should mention that this add-on is actually both Cycles and Eevee compatible as well. One of the best features of this add-on, in my opinion, is that there are procedural stars and clouds readily available. We've got three options for stars. There is none, texture, or procedural, and that goes for the clouds as well. I find myself using the procedural setting nine times out of 10, as it allows for so much customization. You can change the amount of stars in the sky, and it's a good time to point out now that everything here can be animated. So not only can you make easy procedural skies, but you can also make these really cool animated time lapses super fast and super easily. The other features available is stuff like adding object fog so that the objects in your scene blend well with the atmosphere that you've just created. You can also easily offset the ground and the horizon with a couple sliders here. And there's also a few artistic sliders down the bottom to create that slight extra bit of detail into your generated atmosphere. Obviously, there is near infinite amount of variation that you can create with this add-on. And here are just a few that I was able to create in no time at all. Hey, if you like this video, you'll definitely love this video here. Thanks for watching.